My name is Jennifer Donnelly Strock, MD. I'm a physical medicine and rehab physician. So an EMG is an electromyography test and um, the EMG is actually really two parts. The second part of it is the NCS or the nerve conduction study. So typically when we do these procedures in clinic, we do both the nerve conduction study and the EMG. And the purpose is basically to tell us if there's any nerve damage and where that nerve damage is coming from. So we look for areas in the arm, uh, for example, like the wrist for carpal tunnel, we're checking uh, the neck to see if maybe the neck could be involved. Same thing with the low back. We're looking at the low back nerves to see if they could be damaged or even looking at multiple areas along the way in the leg to see if there's any nerve damage there as well. And the majority of patients really do quite well. I think as long as you explain to them what you're doing, patients do just fine. They're able to tolerate the procedure well. There's no lasting issues after the procedure, no residual pain, none of that. Everybody does well. Most of the time you're able to give the patient the result right then uh, after the test. In our practice, all of the physicians do these tests themselves. We don't have technicians. So we find it really important that because the physician is doing it, we're able to interpret that data as we're doing the study, and then we're able to give the patient feedback. Every now and again, you might need to have a little bit more time just to kind of take a look over a few things. But majority of time we give them back, and for our outside referrers, we're usually able to get those reports out within 24 hours to them as well.